Good morning, Cindy Weber here with a yin yoga practice for you today. And yin is a little bit slower holding of the poses, just enjoying each pose, or at the very least surrendering to it. So we'll just do a few poses in this video, and then I will do a couple more with other yin yoga poses so that you can really have a nice relaxing yoga practice to come to at any time through my YouTube video. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe and get alerts or notifications so that you know when I added a new video. All right, for today's practice, namaste to you. Let's go ahead and lie down on our mat or on your carpet. And be sure to have a few pillows nearby of assorted sizes if you would. All right, so making space on your mat. Just rolling down onto your back. And if it would feel better to have your knees bent, just let your knees fall together. You can also bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees go out wide. Or if straight legs feels good to you, just let your feet fall open. You can let your palms face toward the ceiling. And just take a few moments here to settle into your body, noticing what is. And we don't need to make up stories about why things are as they are. So just take time to notice, maybe doing a quick scan of your body. And in particular, noticing your shoulders, maybe walking them down away from your ears a little bit. And just inviting that relaxing opening of the shoulders down into your mat. And then notice all of the body parts that are connected to the earth at this moment and give them permission to let go, to relax, to sink in to the ground a little more. And we'll try and stay with our breath throughout our practice today so your mind is meant to be busy, but let's just try to get it to focus on our breath today. So if it helps, think I am breathing in, I am breathing out. And just keep repeating that mantra, or you can simply say in your head, in, out. And then maybe add a little visual with your breath. Picture it coming in, filling up your lungs with fresh, clean, nutritious air. And then as you exhale, maybe you picture it going away as gray or black smoke, just icky stuff coming off the lungs, out of your body and into the air where it's recirculated and purified and then coming back into your body fresh and clean. And just letting go a little more with each and every exhale. you to remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Pushing the tongue into the roof is our thinking mind at work. Just let it relax in your mouth and notice how your jaw and maybe the muscles of your face relax as well. A good way to keep you centered on your breath is to place one hand on your chest, one hand on your abdomen. And just noticing the feeling, the movement of the breath in your body. Your chest and belly rise and fall. And take your time and just surrender in this pose. And surrender doesn't mean 
breathing out. And then it's giving in to what is right now in this moment. Stay here for five more expansive breaths, filling your lungs up as big as you can, and then adding a sigh if that helps as you release. Turn to that natural rhythm of your breath. No effort required. Just letting it come and go. And let your hands land at your sides. As you inhale, hands float up to the ceiling and find the ground above your head. And then tuning into your exhale, hands lift up and float back down at your sides, full extent of the exhale. So don't worry about how fast or how slow you're going, just match your movement to your breath. Do that one more time. Inhale, hands up one last time. And then bring your elbows to 90 so your arms look like cactuses. Your shoulders are pulling down toward the ground a little more. And walk your feet in towards your bottom and very gently and slowly inhale your knees one way and exhale them the other way just taking your time and then dropping the knees side to side moving slowly with your breath Next time your knees, which are uh, the side that's closest to me, just drop them that way. And roll onto your side and rest your head down on your arm. And stay here for three more grounding breaths. Just connecting ourselves to the support beneath us. And then with your next breath or two, make your way up to a comfortable seat. And be sure your pillows are close by as you do so. And you'll stretch your right leg out before you and bring your left foot into the right inner thigh. And if it would feel good to put a pillow under your knee if it's not coming down close to the ground, that's a nice place for a pillow. Otherwise, place one pillow on either side of your front knee, or front uh, knee in your calf area. And that other pillow can be there if you want it to. Back up a little bit for you. All right, square your shoulders out towards your flexed foot, and you do want that foot flexed out there. Inhale your arms up. As you exhale, hinge forward from your hips and then start reaching your arms forward, keeping that spine long, and then relax down. Maybe you're finding your toes, maybe not. And then just with each breath, maybe you'll notice your nose coming a little closer to your knee. And if you like, 
You can support your head here, maybe stack two pillows if you can't quite reach your head. Just breathe all the way down. Maybe noticing the hamstring stretching out here. And if you want to, while your hands are here, you can massage any part of your face, your head, your neck. I'm just taking my thumbs and making little circles in between top and bottom jaw, but you do what's right for you. Always, always minding your own body. And then remembering to connect to the breath throughout the single leg stretch. And if you get to a spot and you go, whoa, that's too much, just move back out of it a little bit. And if you breathe deeply, you might notice your body, the edge that you came to at first, we call it the edge. You may notice that you're able to go a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper as you're breathing out. So just noticing what is, and you might feel a really nice stretch from your hip all the way up through the left side of your back, perfectly natural. If you ever feel any body parts starting to tingle, Please back out of the pose or change position. It means that body parts um, circulation is being hampered in some way, so it's best to come out of it if you start feeling tingling anywhere. But breathing all the way down, trying to make really deep breaths into your lungs so that we can feel the full effect of this pose. Body melting down a little more as you surrender in each of the poses today. And take three more deep breaths here. And then let your hands help bring you back up, taking your time taking the inner thigh pillow off to the side and then bringing both legs out ahead of you. Give them a little shake out and then flex your feet and see if you notice a little bit of a leg discrepancy just because we did a nice job of stretching out the right hamstring muscle. You might be noticing a little stretching there. All right, let's take the left leg out. Right foot comes to the left inner thigh. Pillow there or not, your choice. Depends on how you're feeling. And then flex your foot, square your shoulders out toward that foot. Inhale up. As you exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Reach, reach, reach for your toes. Maybe you're finding them, I certainly am not. And then relax your elbows down, crown of your head toward your toes or nose to your knee. Whatever feels best to think about for you. And then catching your head in your hands if that feels right. And if you can't quite catch it, get a couple more pillows to stack them so that you can. Just breathing all the way down, noticing the sensations. Yin yoga is so great because it helps us tune in to what feels uncomfortable in our life and instead of trying to run away from it or escape it, Try and breathe into it and breathe through it, which is a good metaphor for life right now, right? Trying to breathe through this coronavirus outbreak and try and stay healthy at the same time so it stays away from us or if we were affected by it in some way. Just trying to breathe through all of our emotions that come up because of it. So breathing deeply, allowing your body to surrender not giving up, just letting be. And if the pressure becomes too intense underneath that knee, just prop your pillow under it slightly. That might make you feel a little less tension in the leg. And our toes are still pointing up toward the ceiling on this leg. And we're breathing.
few more deep breaths in your back body. And then allow your hands to help walk you back up. And we're gonna stop there for this practice. I'll add on with some more yin yoga poses the next time we meet. But hopefully your hamstrings are feeling long and your body feeling relaxed through taking those deep breaths. Place your hands together in front of your heart if you want to make your Sitting bones, feel the earth. Just let your knees flare out as you cross at the ankles. Close your eyes and feel the beat of your heart. Tall inhale as you exhale, bow to yourself for taking time for you. Surrender, giving up what we think should be happening for what is actually happening. My heart to yours, namaste.